What's that little gizmo? It's a camera. Oh, camera. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of vi filming. Oh, ah, cool. <laughs> for my YouTube channel. All right. So. Just tell me where not to be, so I'm not in a photo. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're wearing a hard hat. That's more than most. <laughs> yeah. Most homeowners, they don't do that. I so, used to cut stuff, so I had to have a brain bucket. Yeah. Well, that's smart. That's a refreshing thing to see, actually. Yeah, it's definitely better than getting hammered. Today we're going to play around with the GRCS a little bit. Not because we have to, but because it's kind of cool and we can. And I thought it'd be a good video opportunity while well, we're not just swamped with you know the all the details of a really big job uh, you don't really want to take time out to film when you're doing that but today I'm going to because I can't resist and this is just a super cool tool and Damien say hi to Damien hey, Damien too. is uh, new to it so I'm gonna show him and I thought while I was showing him I would show anyone else that doesn't have experience with this and the beauty of this is is it pre-tensions your load you're going to lower something up there you can you can take a lot of the surprise out the dynamics out by putting a load on the line with this before you ever cut it off and then it's more like craning it just kind of if it's done right it just drifts off and no surprises no dynamic surprises on the line stuff like that so where's the crank we're gonna put a few wraps on it and then he'll go around right here this little gripper deal and then and then he can crank see it's tied to that spike there yeah he can crank this crazy tight so if there's any like new tree service guy uh, and you're thinking about adding something really 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 cool to your uh, arsenal this is the best thing in my opinion that you can add for cool rigging choice so you'll see in the video kind of how it works a little bit again not super uh, high-tech complicated stuff we're doing today but just for demonstration purposes now are you always going to want to rig it through one of these well unless you're unless you're off to the side okay if you're off if you're off this way to the drum then no problem but you can't go stepping out like this no it'll come so back that, off. that's what these are for yeah sometimes you know you may have to put an x ring or or something here to make to sure make sure the right. rope is feeding straight in yeah. but this is just for an example when I'm up there I'm gonna make sure the rope is coming straight down this spar and into here yeah. if it wasn't if it was coming at an angle I would have a ring or a block right here to redirect it straight in okay. because you don't want to put crazy power on these fair leads because no. they'll just bend right off yeah this is the load bearing mm -hmm. this is just something that it's tough it into yeah the right areas if you bent one of these around you'd be a reckless person yeah. so <laughs> yeah. um i've used the similar one but it's not the grcs somebody else makes it Hobbs. Hobbs. Hobbs is good. Yay, Hobbs. <laughs> okay. Hobbs, yeah, the Hobbs lowering device. So we're also going to play around with the Enforcer by Rock Exotica a little bit today, and then we'll see what kind of loads we're holding down here. And uh, maybe we'll even measure the pretension of it prior to cutting. Okay, so we got this little one tied on here, and we're going to tension it. You guys care to guess the weight? I'll cut it off. I'll cut it off at the base. This is one I'm on. I'm gonna cut it off at the base. Yeah. I'm gonna guess 200 pounds. Not very big, but just for fun, since we have the enforcer to play with, we'll... So, so, start cranking it up. Okay, there's 12 pounds. Go ahead and crank it up. 
Oh, okay, keep going. There's a hundred. 112, go ahead. Keep cranking. There's 166 pounds. Let's try that. Yeah. So you you want to guess the weight of this one? I'm going to say about 675. 675. Derek says 675. What about you, Damien? Damien says seven. What do you get the weight at? I'm gonna go seven sixty. I feel like we're on the prices right. What do we get for the closest? I'm gonna say Which PC are you talking about? I'll get six fifty. I'm gonna guess six. Nah. Nah, I'll guess uh, 725. Are you here? That's that right down there. Are you changing your guess? Damien says 925. I don't know though. Figure 100, 200, 300, 4, 5. I'm going to say 725 still. So we got two, 290 pounds of pretension with the GRCS. be close. It could be close. It could be close. You did it! So a couple of factors added a little bit of weight to this. The first one is that we didn't take all the weight off with the pretensioning, so there would have been a slight drop, which would add dynamic force to the scale, to the line. The other is Derek pulling down on the line like that to direct the piece in. Either way though, we're looking for the force on the line, which is the important thing. Regardless of how it gets there, Damien is the winner. The rule on cranking, just so you know, is never more than one man on the crank. If it takes two men, then you're, yeah. You must take one out of the
with this one we didn't really need to do it we could have just turned the thing into salad out over the driveway there but I wanted to demonstrate the power and the convenience the rigging capability of being able to lift something up and over toward the spar the GRCS is quite powerful it has a 4 to 1 ratio by turning the crank clockwise and a 13 to 1 ratio turning the crank counterclockwise Try the other way and see if it's harder. Uh, That's yeah. what I'm trying to tell you guys. <laughs> Which means you can just crank something right up yeah, and over by making a face cut on the top of a piece, which seems strange if you've never done it, and then undercutting and leaving enough hinge wood no, to no, no hold it as it comes yeah. over. And of course that varies how well it works depending on the type of tree, whether it's a hingy wood or a brittle wood. This black oak is quite hingy. There. Now that it's all the way over there, I can just give it a little tap. <laughs> And the GRCS does have power. Damien cranked it up with no sweat. And the Enforcer read 978 pounds to pull that limb up through the fur limbs there. So for any beginner riggers out there, you should know that your spar needs to be strong enough to hold twice the weight of whatever it is you want to lower because it has to not only hold the weight of the piece, but it takes nearly as much weight to keep it up there. It's fun experimenting with the enforcer because you can kind of check your math. You can see whether you're underestimating or overestimating how much things weigh and what kind of dynamic forces are being applied. Thanks for watching. Check this channel now and then for the upcoming Fanner Woman video, which I've taken forever to come out with, but I have shot most of the video for it. Also, Baronic 2 should be coming out sometime this winter. And always more with the GRCS and the Enforcer, which we're going to use to test some products that I can't really mention quite yet. And I've been dying to make a video about the Morbark Chipper and specifically the chip safe technology which might actually keep somebody from dying thanks to everyone out there who likes to tune in and check out the lives of the tree men that's gonna have to cha be changed to monkey beaver we gotta get this here like mm -hmm. man check this out mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah i'm trying to look nice for my chipper arrival 